this is take three. We're going to get into this pack in just a minute, this package that came in just a minute. But I want to talk to you a little bit about how I got all of this. So to get into these Boom series that are hosted at liveboxbreaks.net, you actually have to go to the Case Breaks tab on their site, which is this one here. And if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see all the cases that they're going to be breaking this evening. Looks like we've got some good ones going, actually. Uh, 2020 Leaf in the Game Used is, is very hot right now. We've got uh, some honors football, some playbook football. But down here is our NFL exclusive boom mixer with 22 spots remaining. When you click on that, first of all, you see the price to get one team and one spot is $164.99. So it's a little bit pricey to get into the, the boom mixers. But the boom mixers include 10 mystery packs that are basically repacks that um, the host hawk has put together for his guests to buy into. Uh, you get one team for that $164, uh, and the price varies. Last month, it was a little bit more than that. Sometimes it's a little bit less. Not often, though. Um, and so you get the opportunity to buy into your favorite team and hopefully get a great hit from it. And this is the Super Boom list right now. Um, this may be changing shortly to 1,000 site creds, according to Hawk. But at any rate, if we scroll down on the picture tab, we see all the great cards that we could get in the top, oh, 100 or so cards out of the 200 card series. Maybe it's a little less than that. Um, but at any rate, you see all the wonderful uh, Patties and Tua's and uh, Joey B's and Tom Brady's and uh, Kyler Murray's all the way down. Some old school stuff like Joe Montana and... Um, who was that Barry Sanders up there? Kind of like I got my Gail Sayers, right? Um, and just scrolling down here, we see that there's some really great cards that you can hit. You can also get fairly skunked. You can get nothing if you, your team doesn't hit. If one of the cards that, that comes out of the manila envelopes does not hit for you. Um, and that's a real bummer. Um, but you're added into a skunk break at the end of the month. So even if you miss, you get a second chance. Uh, to set your drafts, you just come all the way down to the bottom here. And if you wanted the, the Dolphins to be the first team um, in, your, in your list, uh, when he randomizes the packs, if you end up with the number one hit or the number one uh, slot, you'll end up with the Miami Dolphins as, as your, your spot and so on down the line. If you get the um, <clears throat> number two spot but nobody's picked the Dolphins, you end up with them, so on and so forth. It's pretty self-explanatory once you get into it. And then you can, of course, pay for your pack and, and move on. If $164 is too steep for you, they also have boom packs, which is one card, one pack. You get two teams for, I believe currently it's $19.99. Uh, if I look correctly earlier today, yep, two teams for $19.99, 15 spots, um, 32 teams in there, and you end up with your two team or 16 spots, excuse me. So you end up with your 32 teams. Um, every two teams that you buy, and you can buy multiple two teams, of course, uh, that gets you more odds, but then you're getting closer to buying a personal pack. And if you buy a personal pack, you get one card for $315.99, which is why I prefer to buy into the, the case break boom mixers. And occasionally I get lucky. Most of the time I don't. Uh, as I said, when I was chasing the Russell, I was uh, tracking all the hits that came out of all the packs. And so I knew that there was still um, that picture card left. And I moved Seattle up to the very top, hoping that, that I was going to be able to get it. Uh, luckily, I did. Um, this month, I didn't pay quite as close attention, and it hurt me pretty bad. Uh, because I think all that's in here is a brown. And I'll tell you why that is. So if I go over to my account, at uh, live box breaks, and hopefully I won't have to log in here. Good, it remembered me, yay. And I go to my breaks, you'll see that this was break number, come on now. This was the NFL exclusive boom mixer 131, and I actually ended up buying four slots. I had the Green Bay Packers, which I was hoping to get some some nice Aaron Rodgers stuff. I had the Tampa Bay Bucks. That wasn't so great. Uh, I ended up with the Cleveland Browns and the um, Houston Texans. I was hoping, hoping that there was some Texans left in there. Uh, and unfortunately, there just wasn't. So I kind of skunked out on this one. Luckily, your bottom four teams, if you hit in the bottom four, you get a credit on that buy-in. 
So I got a full credit back for my bucks and, uh, I was fortunate in that, in that scenario. Um, but I, I don't think I did too well. The pack is awful thick because I also got into some player breaks. So let's see how I did at liveboxbreaks.net this past month or week or whatever it is. About a week. It's a, every pack is a week. I'm just going to rip into it. Why not? All right. So within these... Ugh, come on. There we go. Within these lovely mailers... Are a few manila envelopes. Hawk and his team do a great job of packing things. If you buy enough, it ends up in a box. Boxes are scary because it means you spent a lot of money. Obviously, manila envelopes don't mean quite so much. All right. So we've got one pack and two packs. I'm guessing this is probably the boom with a couple of extra um, cards in there from the player break. So let's see how I did in the player break. Let's start there, shall we? I don't think there's anything too exciting in here. Okay. I'm going to have to use this, I think. We'll use Sting. I don't want to take a chance on knocking something over. All righty. So we've got a stack of cards for sure in here. Wow. That was a lot of cards. All right, so as you can see, Hawk does a very nice job, uh, and his team do a very nice job of encasing these um, in team bags and in graded bags. And usually he'll have a thank you card in there with your name on it to help you re remember your name, but also to help them pack, of course. So I don't like showing my name on camera. If you watch the breaks with Hawk, you'll see my name all over the place, of course, but... Let's just start with pack number one here. Whoops. I bought heavy into um, a break of Elite Extra Edition in baseball. And I ended up with some pretty nice stuff, I think. Uh, there's a nice Markin, Markivian, hence, Elite Extra Edition card. I'm actually going to turn off the screen share at this point so that you can just see the camera view. And we'll just take that off. There we go. So now you can just see uh, the cards as they come up here. I'm going to move this off to the side a little bit. Uh, Mark of Enhance. There we go. And on the back, we've got a nice Yerlin Louise, numbered to 149. Uh, this Elite Extra has a, a bunch of Dominican players in it. And we all know that there are a number of great players who come up from the Dominican League and end up being stars in the uh, in the MLB. So hopefully I've got a few of those in here now. And that's a nice pat jersey auto. I wouldn't call that a patch auto to 149. Um, also got a bunch of base. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, he penny sleeved everything. That's awesome. Yerlin Lewis to 999. Uh, Zach McCambly to 215. Another Mark of Enhance, not numbered. Mark of Enhance, not numbered. Levi... Uh, Levi Thomas. Oh, got a Logan Allen stuck in there as well that is numbered to 999. Uh, Levi Thomas to 499. Daniel Rojas to 399. Dax Fulton to 225. Another Daniel Rojas, that one to 145. Dan Aker to 999. Felix Coates to 499. A CJ Van Nike uh, contenders draft there with Florida State University. Uh, Bradley Lindsay to 999, Buck Wade to 999, and Marco Rea also uh, to 499. Those are some sharp looking cards. I, I'm kind of happy that I bought so much of it. Um, hopefully, I've got a bunch of hits in here as well. This looks like a big sack of plastic, and that usually means that there's a whole bunch of good cards in there, or at least autographed or memorabilia cards. Oh, my goodness. These are all from player breaks. So I bought probably, I don't know, 15, 16 spots and got random players and did pretty well for myself, I think. All right, we've got a Dax Fulton autograph there. Uh, Matt Scheifler, Hidden Gems. That one's real nice. I don't know if you can see how great that, that looks there. Um, Holden Powell. Oh, that's a nice die cut. Holden Powell die cut to 10. Real sharp looking. Uh, ben Hernandez, 
autograph, not numbered, hidden gems of Hercules Oliver <laughs> with Colorado there. Uh, Kyle Nichols with Miami, not numbered. Uh, Jer Jer Jeffrey Jeff Jeffrey Rivera with the Dominican Prospect League there. Looks like a, a fairly young man. Hunter Green, nice die cut to 44. That's a nice looking card there. Hunter Green die cut to 44 with Cincinnati Reds, I do believe. And Alaric Soleri uh, with, with Minnesota. Okay. Interesting. So there we go. A uh, nice little stack there. Oh, more goodness. More goodness. I think I just did a name reveal, but that's okay. All righty. More goodness here. We've got a Trent Palmer, not num not numbered. A Mike Bauman, hidden gems, not numbered. Nick Garcia to 20. Look at that. Nick Garcia with Pittsburgh there. Another Dax Fulton. Willie Fannis. Burl Caraway. Manuel Pena. Ooh. Anthony Walters, three of four, prime numbers. Look at that die cut, real nice. Uh, Levi Thomas and uh, Logan Allen, 77 out of 80. Another nice die cut there of Logan Allen. So for less than $100, I bought into a box of, um, or excuse me, a case of uh, Elite Extra and ended up with all of that goodness um, probably more than I would have gotten had I actually purchased a, a full box. Um, even though I didn't get all the base, uh, I did end up with some pretty nice stuff there. So that will probably all be up on eBay in the next week or so. If anybody's interested in something before then, please do shoot me a, a line. All right. Next up, we have a, I don't know what we got in here. Looks like I bought a pack of artifacts, possibly. Yep, uh, so I've got a Ryan Miller, Threads of Time, and a bunch of uh, base in here. Artifacts is not one of my favorite products. It's very hit or miss. There are times when you don't even get a hit at all in a box, even though it's so, you're supposed to get about four. So there's Braden Hopi and Brent Burns. That'll go in the PC. I'm a big fan of Brent Burns. And then we have, I don't know what this pack is. Looks like playbook. Where's that little goodie card? There we go. Some people don't like doing face reveals. I don't like doing name reveals. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have here for our next stack. Looks like I may have gotten into a boom mixer, or, or excuse me, an NBA mixer, because I'd never buy Origins, but there's a Ben Simmons uh, out of Origins. Yeah, this looks like a kind of random stack, so it's probably going to be a lot of 76ers here. Uh, ben Simmons Origins, not numbered. Oscar Robertson, uh, Robertson there with the Royals, which I believe are just 76ers now. Um, we've got De'Aaron Fox with the Kings, Buddy Heald with the Kings, uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich with the Kings. There's a Kyle guy, nice Kyle guy for all you Kyle guy fans. And an international men of mystery, Vladi Divac. I love it. Love it. I'm a big fan of Vladi, so I'm happy to have that one in the collection. And we did get a book out of Playbook. I think I bought in uh, to the Titans on a Pick Your Team. And we ended up with Darrington Evans. Take a quick look at that. I think this is my first book ever. With as much cards as I buy, it's amazing. This is my very first book. And it is a Rookie Signatures Locker, numbered to 99, with some really sweet patches and some nasty acetate. Look at that. It's a gorgeous card. Absolutely gorgeous. And will be available on eBay for your purchase this weekend. <laughs> All right, so there must be another stack of, of probably base from Elite Extra in here and my Nick Chubb. So let's see what we have in 
our second manila envelope. It really feels heavy, though. I don't know what's going on there. It's got to be more base. So here's the Chubb. I want to make sure I don't reveal my name there. All right. So I've got a Nick Chubb out of Impeccable. Again, I don't have any Impeccable cards, so I can't complain. Oops. Knocking stuff over here. Let's take a look at what card number 132 of Nick Chubb looks like. Oh, goodness. That is nasty. 11 of 75, Nick Chubb. Wish he had stayed in the lines a little bit better. We gotta teach these athletes how to stay in the lines when they sign their autograph or on the sticker, even better, right? Because we want that on sticker auto to be nice and clean. 11 out of 75, elegance. Looks like a patch, maybe glove. I think they're supposed to be helmet, but that looks like glove to me. I don't know. Looked like glove, I think, to Hawk too when he pulled it. But there you go. First Georgia player selected by the Browns in the NFL draft since. Mohamed Mescawi in 2009, cousin of Broncos first round pick Bradley Chubb, highest selected running back by the Browns since Trent Richardson went number three overall in 2014, recorded 23 100-yard performances at Georgia. So there you go. Nice Nick Chubb out of impeccable. Let's see what else we've got. We'll put that up with the booms, I guess, for now. Stay up there. Thank you, Nick. All right, what else have we got in here? Yep, another live box break. Oh, I got a pack of, uh, looks like I've got bought into a um, Hoops Premium stock break as well. I know there was a card in there. It's in the back. That's ah, in the back of this one. Okay, there we go. Got a Harrison Barnes green. Harrison Barnes green there. Nice looking card. Prism to 99. Let's see what else have we got. Sabonis. Sabonis has been lighting it up for the Pacers. Now, I'm not a fan of the Pacers, but I might start a PC of Sabonis because I think they're going to do well this year. And Sabonis is actually rocking it out. So there's a nice red Sabonis. Josh Hart. Um, some kind of prism there. Don't know what kind of prism, but some kind of prism. Avery Bradley. Same kind of prism. Uh, Alfonso McKinney Silver. Yeah. Dean Wade. Same is that shock, maybe? Is that a shock prism? A rookie there. J.R. Smith, also a prism. Oh, yeah, I hit a lot of prism. Uh, Kevin Looney prism. Nasir Little. Another shock there, it looks like. Jalen Burnison. And Jalen Burnson. <laughs> so I must have done a player break of that as well. There's something thick in here. I don't know what that is. All right, we got another... Another little one. Whoops. So appreciate Hawk making sure that his team penny sleeves all the shiny stuff so it doesn't get scratched. That's awesome. And with the cost of base these days being up there even, it's it's good to good to have. All right, another one of those lovely notes from Hawk. I call them love notes, but I know he's just making sure his team gets the stuff to us. Oh, I must have bought a pack of um WNBA Prism. Uh, I'm going to try that one. Simone Augustus of the Sparks. Brianna Stewart of the Storm. Uh, Chinsi Okwimwe, green. That's nice. That's real sharp, actually. Look at the colors flashing off of that. Real nice. And Temi Fagbenelli? I have no idea what the link's. Um, cheap product. Kind of fun to rip. Got some pretty pretty cards out of it, and uh, maybe a banger or two once in a while. What in the heck are these? There's what? What? There's two. No. Oh, I bought into. No way. 
I bought into a second break with that credit. There's two slabs in there. Did I get a decent team? I'm confused. I'm very confused. There's two at least mags. I don't know if they're slabs, but there's definite mags in there. I'm going back to look at real quick. Going back to my recent breaks. I left all grumpy because I didn't hit anything except that Nick Chubb. There is 132. NFL Boom Mixer 132. Because I was the one after 131. I had one spot. Somebody bought all of these. Oh my God. Oh my God. Randomized five times. That's me, because I changed my name to Vintage Grump. I hit the Chiefs. Holy cow. I hit the Chiefs. What's in here? I'm almost afraid to look. Oh my god. No. No. Oh my god. Let me get the tag out of the front of this thing. Oh wow. It wouldn't be slabbed if it wasn't something. It it's 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 not slabbed, it's magged, but it's it's gotta be. This autograph is guaranteed by Panini America. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, I hit the super boom. I hit the super boom. Oh my God. I. Okay. Um. I don't know what to do right now. I am shaking. That's numbered to 25. Oh my God. Numbered to 25. Patrick Mahomes. That's going to be sent in for grading. That looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'm in shock. And there's more in this package. Okay, Nick Chubb, you can come down now because, um, yeah, sorry. Let's get you out of there. I don't want um, anything to fall. Okay, I, I, I can't even, I can't even right now. Luckily, it wasn't anything too important that just fell. Um, I don't even know what to do right now. I really don't even know what to do right now. I am freaking out. That's awesome. That's that's awesome. I don't even know what to do. Um, and I'm not usually speechless. Okay, I, I don't even care right now that things are falling down. Stay there, please. You move over there because there's got to be room for Patty in the middle. <laughs> Patty in the middle. Oh, my God. Stay at the Russell. Do not fall down. Do not fumble. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200 because there's a Patty Mahomes. Oh, my God. I hit a Patty. I don't have any Patties in my PC. I have nothing Patty Mahomes signed. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, so that was fun. And whatever's in here is going to be anticlimactic, I'm sure. I'm 100% sure that whatever's in here is going to be anticlimactic. And 
Let's see. I see the tag on the front. Okay, it's PSA. <gasps> oh my God! No. Okay. Um. Um. I, I changed my name <laughs> on on the on the list to Vintage Grump because I was feeling very grumpy after that. After getting the chub, and it seems to have paid off. That's a. I, I don't even know what it is. It's great. <laughs> it's it's PSA graded Patrick Mahomes. <clears throat> it's a prism. I don't know if it is prism. I don't know what that that set is. I don't don't recognize it I'll uh, get rid of the little card thing um, oh my god are you kidding me oh my god Twenty seventeen Panini Prism Patrick Mahomes Rookie Introductions Gem Ten. I am speechless. That may be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what to do now. Um This has been interesting. I, I'm going to put him up there, I think, if he'll stay up there. I don't know if there's room. Um, don't want to drop him, so I'm just going to – I may have already dropped him. I don't I don't know because I, I can't even function right now. Oh, my God. Okay. I've, I've been so crabby since this break last week that I have I've, – I've bought into a couple of different things, but I haven't been in the chat. I haven't been talking with the group. And, um, nobody told me, <laughs> oh my God, I, I just don't even know what to say. Hawk, thank you. Uh, that, that might be a good place to start, especially since he's in the Super Bowl what, in, in a week and a half. This is insane. This is insane. If he wins another Super Bowl, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> oh my God. And I don't understand how I sniped one spot. I sniped one spot. That was a one-spot snipe because whoever this football, basketball thing is got all the spots but two? Because I saw the eyes up there. Oh, my God. All right, well, apologies to whoever is basketball, football, basketball, football, basketball, football, because you spent a boatload of money trying to get the last of the hits. But holy cow, am I happy right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to go hop on liveboxbreaks.net and, and chat with some folks. Uh, you all keep ripping the wax. This has been my first mail day, and I don't know if there'll be another one, because how do you top two Patty Mahomes? One autographed. And one a gem mint rookie introduction PSA 10. I, I just don't even know. Be good to each other. That's all I can tell you. It comes back. And wow. I, I can't even talk. Okay. Again, until next time, keep ripping the wax. I hope there will be next time. I'm kind of run the gamut of um, cost of buying into different breaks and packs and boxes and whatever. But I'm going to start selling some stuff and maybe replenish some inventory. And we'll see what happens. I, I do have a box of 2020, 2020 Elite. Um, there's the box of 2020 Elite that I am planning on um, either ripping myself and um, I can't even talk on Super Bowl Sunday or opening up a break for it. Uh, follow me on Instagram because, or, or follow me on eBay, excuse me, 
because if I do end up doing a break, it will go up either this Saturday or Sunday so that it's ready for Super Bowl Sunday. I can't talk anymore. I, I need to go sit down. Okay. This has been fun and exciting. Keep ripping the wax. I'm not going to drop anything because I might drop something on Mahomes. Oh, my God. Thanks for watching.